gender, of course, will be handing over the Olympic baton, well, the Olympic flag, to France, the host nation for Paris in 2024. Pete, bring it on. Bring it on. Next stop for you too, Damo. Thank you. So Australia sixth on the medal table with a fantastic 17 gold medals. The USA 39 gold, China 38 out front, followed by host Japan and Great Britain rounding out the top four. Let's check in on... Oh, there's Damo again, everyone. He's just pulling his earpiece out. That's in Tokyo, that live shot. We might switch to me. Thank you. <laughs> he just loves it on the telly. Here's Amber. <laughs> about to do the weather there, Peter. <laughs> Good evening to you. Look, many suburbs woke to the sound of rain this morning. This time lapse of Middle Harbour between the North Shore and the Northern Beaches shows the cloud, the rain, the fog moving in and then out this morning. Overnight, the heaviest rain was along the coast. Castle Cove picking up six millimetres of rain, five falling in Mossman, four Four in Manly and three in Cronulla and San Susi. Then today we saw another five millimetres of rainfall in Mona Vale, Avalon and Forestville, the city picking up four millimetres. It was also much cooler than usual. The city only reaching a top of 15 degrees, which is three degrees below average. Our west only making to a top of 14 this afternoon. That is six degrees colder than usual and the coldest day we've seen in two months. But we can look forward to some beautiful spring-like conditions over the next week. I'll be back with the full forecast a little later, Pete. Amber, thank you. In the news ahead, a toddler critically injured in Borkham Hills and airlifted to hospital. Tonight, an urgent warning for Sydney parents. Ten Sydney aged care homes now infiltrated by COVID. Why are 40% of staff still unvaccinated? Also tonight, the list at the centre of the commuter car park scandal. Will it be kept a secret? And one of the great eyesores of Sydney coming up. Developers get their say on Parramatta Road.